The Bloomsburg Huskies football team captured both of the PSAC East Division Weekly Athlete of the Week awards following a 52-38 win at East Stroudsburg in Week 7. Franklin Quiete set the school record for rushing yards in a single game with 304, also scoring four touchdowns. He talks about the performance. Obviously, it's going to be a special, you know, having a day like he did. But talk a little bit about, you know, wearing the number eight and having a game like he did, just how special that is. It felt great, especially going home. And uh, like I said, the cemetery right next to ESU's campus is where my friend is, John Mangwell. So to be able to wear that number eight and do what I did, you know, I did it for him and I did it for my other friend Josh. And it was just a very emotional game for me and everyone else who was there who understood. So to be able to come out with a win and rush for 300 yards and make two of that game and play, especially play for him was just special to me and special to the Pokemon West community. And I'm sure everyone else appreciated it. So it was great. Was was the 300 something you'd ever thought about, one that you wanted to get? Oh, uh, it wasn't a thought until last year when I faced ESU, coincidentally, and I had 282 against them, and I thought that, wow, I'm so close, you know. But, you know, after that, it's whatever it takes to win a football game, and uh, Coach thought giving me the ball 20 times with 300 yards was the, was the key ingredient, so I was able to, you know, execute offensive line, receivers, fullback did a great job, you know, open up holes for me and executing the base play. So, I mean, it's a credit to all these guys, and it's a total team effort back into the record books and uh, take that record. You know, Jerry Marks, he's held that record since 91. So, I mean, it's been long standing, but for me to have it now is truly an honor. And to be able to do it against ESU in the big, in the mag two of that game was special. So, it feels, well. it feels great. Middle linebacker Justin Shirk earned co-defensive athlete of the week after registering 13 tackles, including nine solo tackles, three for a loss, and two sacks. Shirk talks about his day. Uh, well, I was coming in the game hoping for a big day. Uh, first game that I would really play, actually the full game um, this year because we had a couple blowouts early in the year. But uh, I was hoping for a full game this year, or for, for this game. And um, I knew uh, the game plan they had, I'd have a lot of opportunities to make plays, and uh, I did that today. Talk about the, the late sack that you had on uh, Soltes. It forced a field goal attempt and kind of changed the momentum a little bit. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting, expecting in the pass. Um, out of that formation they had, I was expecting the fullback dive. So, uh, you know, we called a blitz on that play, and, uh, you know, fullback read out, read out and it was going to block. So I just kept on going to the quarterback and luckily had on the football, and I was able to get the sack there. Uh, a game like that, a win where you got to battle it out to the end, you know, tied late fourth quarter, and you battle it out and you get it. Uh, is that a game that you can take as a momentum builder heading down the stretch here? Yeah, that was the biggest game of the year so far to date. Um, huge game, being able to battle it out against a team like that, go blow for blow, and then uh, as a defense, make the plays we needed to in order to get to that, get the W. It was great.